Hey besties, so what I'm doing today is a chip bag video tutorial for Microsoft Publisher. I've gotten this requested a few times, so I figured I would go ahead and uh, get one done. One thing to note is that Publisher does give uh, several different options that Microsoft Word doesn't. So it gives you like, you know, these the striped backgrounds and the, you know, polka dots and the borders and all that stuff without you having to download anything additional. Uh, another thing, unlike most of my other videos, I'm not going to do any printing and assembling like I do most of the time because uh, my printer is really low on ink and I ordered it a little bit too late. So it's not going to be here for another few days. Since I have other videos that have already gone through the printing and assembling, I'm not going to worry much about it. but. Uh, just know for the future, I will still do that process. I'm just doing it this way this time, um, mainly because of the ink. I am going to go through the measurements of the chip bag for you and then just show you how I got to other elements of my chip bag um, that you see here. Just keep in mind, every single time I start a new template, I literally end up with a completely different design so please bear with me I had this design earlier I had one with a different lol doll on it as well I'm just you know can't be trusted I, I just literally go crazy when it comes to designing things so I'm gonna go ahead and start my new template and I'm gonna choose the landscape orientation here and then I will go to page design margins and none okay the first insert is going to be of a square. I'll do it right here at the upper left corner and then I will make my dimensions 8.5 by 11. So pretty much the full page. My next box is going to go at the upper left corner as well. That one's going to be 8.5 by 2.75. Okay, And then I will do one more box that is going to go here and it's going to be 8.5 by 5.5. Three sections. The two on the end, obviously, those are going to be wrap around and be the back of your chip bag. So that's where your barcode and your nutrition facts are going to go. This middle section right here is the front of your chip bag and that's where you're going to do the main uh, portion of your designing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a shape fill of white and then do a shape fill here of white. Here I'm going to go to shape fill again, go to pattern and then choose these stripes. Here I'm going to also go to shape outline. I'm going to go to weight and then go to three points. I'll go to shape outline again, go to more outline colors and then choose this like Tiffany blue color okay now for this one I'll do the same thing put shape outline more colors pink then I'll do shape outline weight three points now if I duplicate this right now and put it on this side it'll be the same but what I want to do is resize this to 2.5 because I do need a small amount of space to glue okay so now that I have my 2.5 there I'm going to duplicate I just copy and then paste okay so now I have both of my sides and then I have a space for me to glue or tape my bag together now for this main box this is where you know this is the key part of your bag because this is what everybody will see first I want to make this smaller and I'm going to go with 4 inches. Then I will go ahead and insert my shape fill for the background which I'm going to make black. I'll go ahead and insert a picture, add my lol doll. Okay, now she has no visible outline that you can tell unless I'm actually clicking on the doll itself, okay? If I click off of it, there's no outline. 
So I'm going to go here, go to format, go to picture border. I'm going to make it this like Tiffany blue color. Go back to it, go to weight, three points. Go back to it, go to dashes, and then I'm going to choose this like star background. Okay. So that's how I got that dotted feature around the edge of it. And then I will go to insert, word art. I'm going to choose this one right here. Choose a font, which I am using Berlin Sands FB Demi. I'm going to do a shape fill of this blue. Then go to shape outline and I'm going to choose like a light pink color. And I think it was like this one. Okay. And then I will go to shape change. And you have all these options right here. Anything you want to do. Okay. So I am going to choose this one right here. And then I will do a insert again. And do this little squeaky yarn. Just like that. Same with the number seven that I did. I'm going to add the rest of my clip art. The one thing you want to remember about clip art from Google or even from SD is to try and get the PNG. With the PNG, you do not have to remove the background of the picture. So it gives the difference between that ha having the clear background or it will upload like this with the um, background and if I go to recolor set transparent it'll basically make everything clear so just try and do PNG it makes it much easier um, to use and then I will enter the rest of my barcode nutrition facts and so on So that's how you would do the chip bag and honestly like if you want to just like if he said oh this black isn't working for me let me just see what other colors I have to choose from. Let me just slide it through here and like oh, that one might be okay, this one might be okay, that might be okay. So you know you can play around with it like that. Okay so here is the finished chip bag. and. I wanted to just give you guys a tip on something you can do if you want to double check your measurements at the end of designing your chip bag. Just go ahead and insert a shape, a square, change the dimensions to 8.5 by 2.75 and then you can put a shape fill of white and then just drag it over your the back of your bag just to make sure nothing from the front of your bag is going to go over to the back or vice versa so you can do that same thing um, because I want mainly most of this to appear on the back so again you guys um, can double check that with this little box here okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions please let me know below in the comments and as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a very, very blessed day.